I got paralyzed the night of October 19th in 2007. So I'm just at, well, today's the 17th. So I am a year, three years and a month. It was a burst fracture of my T10 vertebrae. Physically, I physically I was always construction work and you know and stuff like that. I learned how to like, work with my hands and I learned how to problem solve on the job and quickly and learned how to use tools that you know most people ain't never seen before. And then uh, after the accident, that was kind of one of those things I felt like that was pushed to the side because you know I'm paralyzed now. How can I do all those things? Yeah, you know, like my whole world's flipped backwards and I don't know what to do with it now. I like it. I best that that'd be the best words I could say is that it is. I like it, man. It's 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 nice to see myself standing up and taking my legs. You know, my legs taking those steps. It's nice to see that. You know, and then as far as the designing and and the purpose for what it's there for, I think it'll be a great help to somebody who's gaining back their mobility. You know, the mobility in their legs. You know, like, cause you're never gonna sit here and think leg move, leg move, leg move. If it ain't doing anything, your legs are gonna be like, what am I supposed to be doing? You know, and I think that's awesome that it brings you through the motions of a real step. It's not just you know some computer generated motion that it goes through. It's all done by you know somebody that walks. So you get that understanding of it. If I was, if they were to hand me one and say, all right, this is yours, take it home and walk around. Um. I'd be able to reach the top shelf at Walmart, something I haven't done in a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and among other things, you know, I'd be able to change the own, my own light bulbs, you know, and, and it's little stuff like that that makes, that really does make the big difference between being paralyzed and not. It's, it's a lot of the little things, you know, coming home from work and being able to pick up your daughter and swing her around in circles, you know what I mean? Things like that, just, it's all the small things. You know, and I and I feel like that if somebody was to hand me a pair of those legs and I can get around in them and do the things that I want to do, you know, standing up, I feel that that would be a great life improvement for anyone. You know what I mean? Because you go, I mean, sitting down, you know, it's not so fact that the chair makes things so difficult. It's, it's the height difference and, you know, being able to reach down and get something or, you know, hold something in front of you or, you know what I mean, stuff like that. That's the big difference. So... Being able to be up like that to where, you know, you can reach, you know, further than you need to, you know, further than I can. And that's a great thing, you know, to be able to get around. Plus, then you have less less stress about, um, like, pressure sores and things like that. You know what I mean? All you have to do is when you get out of the exoskeleton at night, you just check your hips, your knees, and your ankles, and you're good. You don't have to worry about, you know, sitting on your butt too long and getting this big old black spot there that's going to kill you. You know, that, that's a good thing. I like it.